Windows Server 2019 System Administration. Welcome back everybody. I'm Prakash Pradhan, your trainer for this entire series. In today's topic, we are going to talk about the Manage Service Account. Normally in every system, whenever we start working actually, uh, by default, we find so many accounts or administrator might, might have been created account in order to log in. So if we categorize actually the service or the account that we create in operating system, in terms of account, we find, we find actually two types of account in general. What you find number one is the normal account and second one is the managed service account so far you might have been working with all the time almost all the time with the normal account only so the normal account if i have to talk about the normal account over here these are the account which is actually you know created in order to work with your <coughs> uh, any credential so that you can log in in your system Okay, you share any kind of the resources in a network in for this network infrastructure and the clients are able to log in and access their resources actually. That's a normal account. Even uh, when we talk about the administrator account, that is also kind of your normal account only. That is used to, you know, provide some sort of these services for the clients. But when we see uh, the server Active Directory users and this computer, this console, you might have noticed that there is a one OU that's created by default. User don't have to create that. When you install the operating system, that's been created automatically. So that is the managed service account. You might be wondering what is the use of this managed service account every time we see in users and this computer, this container, but we hardly use that. So let me explain the meaning of this managed service account now. Normally, every time you create any account, in Windows environment, that account is used to log in. Of course, once you log in, you have, uh, you know, the privilege to access any kind of resources that's been assigned to you by your system administrator or with the help of this administrator account. But every time you may not be using this kind of passwords or any account just to log in and access the resources. How about we create certain account that account is used to activate certain type of the services. For that purpose, Windows operating system has provided us with the platform to create the managed service account. So this managed service account is actually used to, you know, uh, provide some sort of authentication along with this privilege to activate any kind of service. That means insert a specific service that might be web service or any kind of service that we use, uh, you know, even in a cloud or even in your local area, this networking system. That means insert managed service accounts are the special account. These accounts are used to run any kind of services. Some sort of authentication is required to run those kind of services and they are not used to log in in your system. I'll show you now that managed accounts are created. Of course, with the PowerShell, you do not have any option to create this managed service account with the help of your GUI interface. When we create this managed service account in order to authenticate a specific service, okay, it's bit secure also, a specific service, those accounts are not used to be logged in. That means they are used only to hit the event of activating the service only to run some kind of service specific service that can be anything in your environment to run those type of services only the managed service accounts are used. Now, uh, another thing I, I already told you that managed service accounts cannot be created using the GUI. You have to go through the PowerShell and you don't have to worry about the password in order to manage to run the different services using the managed service account because it happens that let's say a one user account or one account that we have created to activate some sort of one service the same managed service account is used to run another one service again another one so that means the same managed service account is being used to run three different services so when this managed service account password is changed you will have to inform all of these services that your password is now changed now, thanks to Microsoft, you don't have to do that. It will automatically renew the password in every 30 days. That means user don't have, don't have to, you know, worry about changing or informing the password in order to run any kind of a specific this services. But when we talk about the steps for creating a managed service account, you need to go through at least four steps over here. I'm going to show you simply in this video how to create the managed service account and how to make it sure that the managed service account is being created. Of course, I'm going to give you the uh, all the commands that you require in this PowerShell cell 
sponsor in order to create your managed service account there are four steps in general that you need to see step by step number one you cannot create managed service account using gy i already told you and you there is no provision there is no way okay there is no possibility also so far okay as for this windows server uh, 2019 there is no provision no shortcut to create managed service account in one click like creating your normal account so you will have to follow all all of these steps so first of all what you need to do you need to create a key distribution service root key this is mandatory kds root key has to be created in order to work with the managed service account after that now you can give a command after creating this kds root key now you can provide a command to create the managed service account now the next question it might rise in your mind okay this managed service account is used to run specific service but the specific services are run on specific server specific pcs what about that obviously that's the next step now you need to specify on which computer you are going to accept the you know request to access those specific service having the specific password so that's why step three is to specify a computer you you will need to give a name of that computer where the password will be used in order to activate that specific service i repeat again this service can be anything that's why i'm not pointing at any of this particular server it might be web anything anything at last of course you would like to make sure that the command that is been hit just now in order to create the managed service account is working properly so the last one i suggest you to test the managed service account and here i would like to show you the command that is being used don't worry it's in uh, now this video only you can just note it down easily first one the first command that is given over here is to create the kds root key this is mandatory you'll have to create and after that i told you in this previous space that now second step is to give a command to create a managed service account if you notice over here i have given new ad service account the name is the test msa i have given we can change it easily okay as per your need just i'm in a lab and environment so i thought of using this test msa only and after that the managed service account that you are going to create over here it has to be located in a particular ou that means the path i'm going to show you don't worry you will have to point it out the path where you would like to create this managed service account and that folder default i mean to say the ou is the managed service account it is an ou i'll show you that after that the domain component you will have to specify that means i would like to create one service account the name of that service account is test msa in my case over here okay here is my test msa and the common name that means the ou where i would like to put that managed service account is here managed service accounts ou and this is my domain it's a domain component.com and at last you'll have to give a full domain name over here guys don't forget this if you missed out this one managed service account will not be created this is the name of your domain that means fully qualified domain name you will have to provide it so dns host name is dc.viatech.com in my case i do believe that you still re remember throughout this session entire training series we are going to use only one domain so that it will be easy for you as well so after that i also told you that you will have to specify the password that you are going to use in that computer actually so this is the password actually we are using in this case and then last command is to test the identity of this active directory your service account now let's observe up and see that how to use or how to create your managed service account in a windows server 2019 okay so let me take you to my server this is my server okay now first let's test the name of our server and we have nothing to do with the ip address at this moment since i do believe you all know that so host name is this this is my host name so if i have to ping my domain controller it's functioning properly so it's the same ip guys you just you might have noticed over here it's the same ip address now as i told you there is no way you can create your service account with the gui now first i'd like to show you that by default the service account is not created in windows server 2019 neither in the older version of the operating system it's not created of course you're going to find the ou okay the container is over there but service account is not managed service account is not created see here it's empty now you might be just thinking okay there's an ou i'm going to right click okay i'm going to create a new user okay so let's say uh 
service account just the two letters i'm going to give for example service account i'm going to create it okay and uh, then let's give the password cannot change the password this is just for the sample so i'm going to use the same complex password now your service account is created it seems like that but trust me guys this is not service account service account icon is not like this okay the service icon will come over here so i'm going to show you after we hit the command and successfully the after creating the minus service account you'll find the icon is completely different so that anyone can understand that is the service account that has been created in order to run specific service in your network infrastructure so let's go to the PowerShell, but guys make sure that you run with the administrative privilege because sometimes you might have login with some other account and you might come up to a certain situation when the service account itself is not created okay so now let's go and start typing a command uh, my command is ready made over here i'm a bit lazy to copy that means to type the command so let's hit that command now here in the console it will create a root key first one is to create a root key Okay, see your root key is now created. Okay, now second command is what? To give a command to create your Active Directory Manage Service Account. This is that command. Okay, it's ready made. You just do copy and paste. So I'm going to paste it over here. Now, I would like to repeat again the meaning of this command. Have a look. I'm going to create new service account okay the root key is already now created the name of that service account i'm going to give msa1 you can give anything as i told you okay and the path of that managed service account remember this is the folder that means the content i'm going to see this see this is the way you where you are going to create it so that's why in over here when you talk about the path that path should be this this is mandatory you make sure that you put over here okay so that you don't get mixed up and after that managed service account Domain is Viatech and the domain component is .com. And I also told you that you have to provide with the host name of that PC. That means, of course, I'm going to, you know, provide or create this managed service account in this server. Only. And it is not mandatory that you create managed service account only for the DC. It can be, you know, it might happen that sometimes you are trying to run a specific service in some other server. Okay, due to any security issues. So it can be done. Now let it run this command. Now it's done. It is done okay now next step if you remember i also told you that you need to specify now on which computer that is done over here that means the server over here in uh, this managed service account container i'm going to create and you need to specify over here what will be the password that will be used for that managed service account so that's why i'm gonna give over here okay Okay, no problem. Now, we are going to give a command for this. This is the password I'm going to use. That computer should be doing that specific service and which service, it depends upon you what service you are going to do actually indicates your password now after that i would like to make sure that it is created successfully if it is created successfully it must return that saying it is true true means your command is successfully run and your managed service account has been created so let's see now i'm going to give a command over here i would like to test my this service account identities of of course it's msa1 and see it's true that means your work is done successfully you notice over here then why it gives this error because it was not given in a proper format it was given in two different lines it happens sometimes now if i exit or if i quit from here and i take you to my organization unit and refresh it you will notice this is an icon of your managed service account okay so this way we create a managed service account in windows server 2019 operating system in order to give or set a specific password or a specific permission to any specific server any operating system 
over here in your environment to run the specific service. That service can be anything from the web to anything, whatever you want. So I do believe this was the easy going step. Okay, in order to create your managed service account, if you find this was fruitful and easy going, please do like and subscribe. Thank you.